Assalamu alaikum, Khush Amdeed, a very warm welcome back to the Balti Adrishtan YouTube channel. I'm Hussein, uh, and on behalf of my team and the brothers, uh, Harun Mafuz Mamoon, uh, we welcome you all back. I'm going to be sharing a shami kebab recipe, what we use at home. We also call them chapli kebab in Urdu or in Punjabi. Now, the way how mom makes them, I'll be sharing uh, the similar recipe as mom makes it hope uh, you'll enjoy watching and when you cook you enjoy it as well so I'll be starting off with some we've got approximately 300 gram of goat mincemeat now back home we've got lamb or sheep but here we've got more goat so I'm using goat mince here but you can replace it with lamb mince Then the next ingredient I'm going to do is uh, we've got some finely diced uh, onions, approximately two onions diced. One tomato diced. One tablespoon of garlic paste. one tablespoon of ginger paste salt to taste chili powder if you want like a more spicy you can add more but I'm just going to keep it to roughly uh, two teaspoons half a teaspoon of turmeric powder some whole cumin half a teaspoon whole it adds some extra flavour coriander powder teaspoon fresh coriander a couple of pinch If you want to add some green chilies, you can do optional a couple of green chilies. Now we're going to add an egg just to bind the meat together. And finally, gram flour, which is chickpea flour, just to help bond the meat uh, better. So approximately you can use uh, 10 grams should be fine. Now the way how you need flour, I'm just going to knead all the spices into the mincemeat. It can, it looks, it can be a bit of a process but once you get the hang of it, it shouldn't be too much of a job. If you were to use this into sheet kebabs uh, on skewers, then I'll uh, blend the onions, uh, not finely uh, blend in a blender, and the tomatoes and chilies, so then it'll form an, uh, a good kind of a paste. But since we're making shami kebabs, chapli kebabs, whole tomatoes or onions, once you're frying them, the taste uh, increases. The caramelization of the onions increases, increases all the flavor. Now we have the meats all uh, ready to uh, form into small patties. Everything's blended in well. Now, oftenly, if you, once you've mixed it, let the meat rest for half an hour to an hour. So all the spices, everything kind of uh, gives its flavor 
bonds well, then you can start forming the patties. So after half an hour approximately, you could start shallow frying, you can deep fry them as well. But shallow frying, it's uh, more better, you'll get a better taste and you won't have the kind of guilt of frying in too much oil. In the meantime, if you can watch a small overview shot of our village in Jalachak, Pakistan, close to Jhelum, Dina. I'll be back shortly. Add some oil in the pan. The oil's uh, hot now, so I'm just going to form patties here. Also, we've had uh, many questions on our previous videos, where are these cooking pans available from? Just let you know, know all that we will soon have them for sale on our website www.baltiaosrishin.com Also, we are in the process of getting our own spices packed which will be available on our uh, other website which will be named as the Curry Factory. Be gentle with the meat. Just ensure it cooks slowly, steadily. We want the kebabs to be cooking thoroughly from the inside as well. And please, when you turn the kebabs over, just ensure you be very careful. We don't want the shami kebab to break. Mint chutney to, uh, as a, uh, a companion with the, the shami kebabs. Pita bread, naan bread, chapati, all nice. If you're feeling not too, uh, uh, you're just feeling peckish, it's a good uh, starter to have as well, nice. Uh, kebabs are almost done now. Just gonna be ready to plate up. Shami kebabs, this is the mint chutney, what we've uh, made to serve the shami kebabs with. Hope you've enjoyed watching the video and when you cook them, you enjoy your sh shami kebabs you make at home. Once again, thank you so much for taking the time out, watching our videos, the feedback you leave. Greatly appreciate it. Much love, much respect. Hope you all stay safe. Love you all from Pakistan, Hussein Rashid and whole the team from the Balti House. Many thanks.